Hi, this is Mary with Genesis Kingdom. Um, just to say a quick prayer for you. Um, Father God, that I ask for this beautiful message that I'm about to deliver to your children, um, that they're able to receive the revelation of the message that I'm sending over, that it touches your soul, heals you as you receive this message. It's um, If you also read, actually, Proverbs, um, it's kind of like from the tree of life. When somebody that is a child of God, a chosen one. And as I give you um, wisdom that I have learned in my journey with my walk with my father, Jehovah, um, that it reaches you and you grow from it and you heal from it and you get restored restoration. You know, it's healing and say it's too small. And yes, I'm going to say it. I have days just like you do. The important thing is just not to stay. I don't I don't stay on it, you know, like a long time. But that's why it's called a spiritual warfare. You know, the point is I'm going to say that's it. <laughs> you know, that's not it. You know, this is like the ending of the darkness, but the beginning of the new world, the new heaven, the new earth. You know, and we are at the end times. It's, um... I love the song. I was trying to get the name, and of course, it comes out when I'm doing a video. Um, I'll just probably have to pause it. I'm trying so hard not to look back. But um, it's called The End Times. It's the title, and the wrath of God upon the earth. And this is Revelation 16. And this is me, something that I was looking for, because usually when I'm meditating or reading the Bible, I'll be like, hey, that's a good one, and I save it, you know? This one, it's me. I, I looked for one, and I know I had say something about a thief in the night. But that Bible verse, I know I have read it. So I know I have read that to you. But the one that I actually wanted to send the message was the one from Revelation 16. And if you read, um, I'll be able to do that. Um, if you're able to uh, read the difference between Revelation 16, and I don't know the other one, but at the end of the video... I will share it, um, which Bible verse it is that I saved it on here. Um, basically, <laughs> Revelation 16, it says, And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Go your way, pour out the vials of the wrath of God upon the earth. And the first went and poured out the vial upon the earth, and there was it was filled of noisome. And grieved some sore upon the man in which he had mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his image. The second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of the dead man, and every living soul dead in the sea. The third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and fountains of water, and they became blood. I heard the angel of the water say, Thou art righteous, O Lord. Which are though, and was, and shall, and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. For they have shed the blood of the saints and the prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. Remember when he said, you know, with me, you're going to follow a lot. You're going to be prosecuted. He said, but take up the, the cross and walk. And I always got to think, Jesus didn't quit on that cross. He didn't quit. And that's the truth. And neither did I. And then did times get hard? Did I get battle wounds? Did I get scar wounds? Yes. But that's what made me the strong woman that I am today. And we're talking about when I was way young. He prepared me for this battle. If he hadn't, <laughs> you know, I, I can't. It's hard for me to say that I could imagine because I can't imagine that. Because he's been with me. For a long time, you know, the enemy has been attacking me since a very young age, you know, and um, I bind, I bind him and rebuke him back to the pits of hell that my father made for him, because hell was made for Satan and his evil people, not for you, not for this world, not for the richest and not for the poorest. He loves each and one of you, and that's his message, even to you that's hearing this message. And even to me as well as mine, that I am worthy of his love. I'm worthy that he didn't give up on me. You know, 
and that hell that I went through was for me, was for you, and was for his heavenly purpose. Everything was a platform. Everything had a meaning, and that was you. That was you. You know, it was you to open your eyes again and come from the darkness to his light, you know, and you were worth it. Those battle wounds that I got, those scar wounds that I got, you were worth it. And so was my children. So was my husband. You know, do I do I bleed sometimes? Of course. Do I cry sometimes? Do I get hurt? Absolutely. You know, I feel you. I hear you. And I understand you. I understand you know, but just know that sometimes easy is not good. What we used to were so accustomed to. You know, a lot of these people were placed, were placed before we even knew in our lives. We might have not known then, but pray to him, ask him, talk to him. He will do it. If you believe in your heart and your soul, just be like, God, I don't want to sin no more against you. If it's a person or even your family, if he's asking you to be alone, he removed them. Don't force it. Understand? There's a purpose. And sometimes when he separated from my family, the separation was because they would have discouraged me. If he would have put me and my husband, we were both at a different level. I was at a different level. I wasn't all the way here. And neither was he. You know, so I can't sit there and say, oh, it's just him. I was ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. You know, I'm not a liar, and I would not lie to you. You know, he had to prepare me to come to this moment. So when I'm speaking to you, I could say, hey, I experienced that. Hey, I went through that. Hey, you're feeling weak. That's okay to feel weak, but don't stay in that moment. Are you feeling sad? Are you feeling broken? Absolutely. We got shattered in this journey. We got torn to pieces, but then he put us back together. That was the whole mission. And when things don't make sense, when life... On the other side seems so much greener. When the life on the other side seems so much like it's easy. If it's easy, it's not. It's not. It's not his plan. When you're sinning, when you're doing exactly what the devil wants you to do, he leaves you alone. You're his best friend. You're good. But the minute you pick up the Bible, the minute you shun sin, the minute you sit there and you want to listen to the word of the Bible, it cleanses you. Then you become a threat to him. Then, yes, he's going to come at you sideways with all your temptations. But self-discipline self is the best gift. And yes, time. Not other people. We're all in different levels, and I understand that. Trust me, I wouldn't be so caring with my children and so caring with my husband. But my love is unconditional for them. Or I would have gave up on my marriage from the beginning. I would have been like, are you crazy? You think I'm going to pray for him? He's out there. But he needed me. I needed him. My children needed me. I needed them. They were my living source. You know, of course, my father, because without him, I wouldn't be here. But that was like, you know, you're not going to have him. You're not going to have my children. And then everything else got added on in this journey. And that was you. You know, and it's with a sincere and a heel hard. I have bad days just like you do. You know, it, it's okay, but it's not to stay in that moment. You know? It says, I heard another, <clears throat> it says, and I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord God Almighty, true righteous are thy judgments. And the fourth angel poured out this vial upon the sun, and pour was given unto him. Scorch man with fire. The man was scorched with a great heat. Blasphemy the name of God, which had power over the plagues. And they repented not to give him glory. The fifth angel poured out and his vial upon the seed of the beast. And the kingdom is full of darkness and it was gone into the tongues of pain. The blasphemy of God that is given because of their pains and the sores repented was not of their deeds. The sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great rivers of the Ephorites. The water thereof was dried up, and that was the thing of the east that might be prepared. And I believe um, we're in the sixth. Um, I think um, it is going viral all over um, the news that um, the Ephorites River is, is done, you know. 
and understand that this is why it's so important to stay in prayer, not to be scared. You know, the, the wrath of God is more scarier, you know. Don't let the enemy think that he has that power because he doesn't. The only power that he has is what you give him here and here because it starts here. And you hear that and it goes to your heart and to your heart. You know, he's not worth it. Nobody is. Come on. Um, that's like, oh. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of a dragon and out of the mouth of the beast. And out of the mouth of the false prophet. The false prophet right now, he's going like nationwide with, um, I think in, in Israel, with the Jewish, with the Jewish people. Um, he said it. He allowed it. He said, I send my prophets. I send my children, you know, and they didn't want to listen. So he's, he allowed, it tells you in the Bible. He allowed the false prophet to go ahead. You don't want to listen to the truth. Let him go ahead and deceive you. He's a deceiver. He's a deceiver. He's the father of the lies, the father of the flies. You know, the thief that comes to steal and kill and destroy and the soul is the minions. Don't give him that power. You know, the Bible. It washes you and cleans you. It did to me. Miracles. You know, of course, you know, we have a weak moments, but don't stay in it. Fight it. Be like, oh, my God, I, I've asked him in this journey. Father, I need you. Like, hey, Father, help me with my thoughts. <laughs> you know, last night I had a little small episode. And he sends me a vision and made me just break down and cry, you know. He's beautiful. He is. He said, I don't think so. <laughs> so he doesn't give up on me. He doesn't give up on you. And I'm not giving up on you either. You know, I always said that he can't have you. Can't have this world. It's not his. It was never his. He was just a squatter in the land. And he's already evicted. We're handing out eviction notice. And you do it by the word of the Bible. You read it by staying in, out of sin and out of things in the world. Just wait. Be patient. Don't try to hurry into a relationship. You know, just know that he's going to do it. Let the people that rejoice that they got that relationship, if they got it, honey, he wasn't the one. Or she wasn't the one. You feel me? That hurt of the protection was for for to make us. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest with you, that, that didn't break me in this journey. You know, it didn't break me. You know, losing my kids broke me. You know, not knowing broke me. Not understanding what it meant to be chosen broke me because I was trying to figure everything out, everything out. You know, I didn't understand it. You know, but to understand it was reading the Bible, what it meant to be chosen. You feel me? You know, and um, that's why I could understand you. I could understand my husband. I could understand you. I could understand my children. You know, Pray when you drop to your knees and tell him that you break every curse, any sorceries back to the pit of hell. Tell him, Father, if I'm a child of God, I bind and rebuke those evil spirits back to the pit of hell. They're spirits. They're spirits. I saw it. If I hadn't saw it with my own eyes, I, I wouldn't be telling you the scream like a, a squeal. That, because after a while, their light disturbed. My light disturbed them. And the fakeness started. They couldn't hide it anymore. You know, if I hadn't seen what I seen, I would be telling you, you're tripping, you know. But um, what my father showed me was um, that they were sick, like I was, you know. And it says, and for they are spirits of the devils working miracles, which they go forth unto kings of the earth and for the whole world to gather them in battle of the great day of the God Almighty. So he's, he's already roaming around. He's grabbing people to come against us. You know, we win by the word of the Bible because our father Jehovah is with, with us. And you invite him into your house, into getting baptized, into repentance from sin. And to doing the smallest good deeds. He sees it. He knows. He knows. You know. Behold. 
he says, this is our father. Behold, I come as a thief in the night. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments. At least he walked naked, but they see his shame. Gather them together into a place called a Hebrew tongue. A Hebrew tongue. Tongue, sorry. Armageddon. On the seventh angel poured out the vial in the air. They came with a great voice out of the temple of heaven for the throne saying, it is done. It's going to be over that quick. They think they have it like that. They don't. There's more of us than there is of them. And there is a Bible verse. And he says, hey, are you for me or you are my adversary? You know, that's powerful too. And there was a voice and thunders and lightnings and with a great earthquake such as not since men were upon the earth. So mighty an earthquake, so great. The great city that was divided in three parts. The city and the nations fell. The great Babylon came in remembrance before God. But he gave unto her the cup of wine of fearness and of his wrath. Every island fled away. Every mountain were not found. It's gone forever. It's gone. It's going to be a lake of fire never, never to be there again. And it's happening. Look around. As the sisters, prayer, Bible is everything. And you understand it, study it. Because they change a lot. It's, it's a he, Christ, Israel. It, it's, it's a she, not a he. And if you sit there and you look it up, research it, it comes out and it's on here. You just have to study, you know, just go deeper in and continue reading it and reading it. And you'll catch the little mishap, you know, they edit some to make it look like more it was a he. But if you read it, it's a she, she, she. Israel is a woman. It wasn't Jacob. He took her name. And there fell upon a man a great hell out of heaven, and a stone about a weight of a talent. Man blasphemy God because of the plague and the hell, and the plague thereof was exceeding great. You know what I learned in this journey was like a lot of people were saying they were blaming God. God. You know, it was God's fault why I'm here or why I'm this. I got this sickness. It's all his fault. Not knowing that it wasn't God. It was sin. Their their evilness. Why well, came upon them. But it's easier to blame everybody but their actions. It's so easy. It's your fault. It's my fault. It's his fault. But never my fault. You know what I'm saying? It's easier to point fingers at somebody else than at ourselves. And it's us. Our actions. Our desires of the heart. Our desires of the flesh is why we fall into sin and why and why there's consequences for our sins. You know? Revelation 17. And there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vials and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, and I show thee the judgment of the great whore that sitting upon many waters, with whom the kings of the earth committed for an action and inhabitants of the earth, that they had been made drunk with the wine of her for an action. So, and that's Babylon. He carried me away in the spirit and in the wilderness. I saw a woman sitting upon a, scar a scarlet, a colored beast, full of names and blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. As the woman was arrayed in purple scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones, pearls having golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and fillness of her for an action. Upon the forehead was the name written, Mystery, Babylon, the great mother of harlots, the abominations of the earth. You know, if you read Proverbs, they'll tell you, the whoredom world, the harlot world, was the pathway to hell. The proverb woman is the woman that actually was the, the tree of life. You know, so if people were coming to the tree of life and taking advices that you're giving, prayers, you know, you're coming to her for the tree of life and asking for healing, you know, hey, you know, this this is everything's gone wrong. I prayed over them and God is so good. And they would come back and they would say, thank you for that. Well, it was God, not me, you know, it was God, not me, you know, and I always say that my father, Jehovah. I'm not alone. I have him. I have whole heaven. 
backing me up, and so are you. You just call upon him, you know. And I saw the woman drunken with blood, and, with the blood of the saints, and with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. But when they saw her, I wondered her in great admiration. You know, while we were out there, we were letting them know, hey, you're in sin. Don't go, you know, that way. But she will pull him back towards her. You know, come on. Come on. You know, they went with the lust of the flesh. You know, and we tried. And they were being killed. And they didn't even know it. Killed. Eaten. Eaten drinking their blood, they were doing sacrifices with God's children, babies, women, men. They don't like us. They don't like us. They want for you to sin as much as you want because they get to have you in hell. And that's the truth. And because they didn't listen is why a lot of them perish, why a lot of them kept going back. Those are the dry bones. Those are the bones that dried, you know, those are the bones that perish. That's why he says, um, the Spirit of God has made me, but the breath of the Almighty gave me life. He said, awakest, though thou sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ should give you the light. Awakest, though thou sleepest. He uses that of people. Oh, they're asleep because he's the resurrection of life. You come back to me, and you will live. Let the dry bones live. You're coming from sin back into a covet with him. You're not in darkness anymore. You're not sinning. These people want to drag you to hell. You're going to have a life with your husband and with your wife that he has chosen for you in this world. Wait, just be patient. Don't settle for things in the world because they want anything to drag you down. And ask him, hey, Father, I don't know if he is the one. She's not that. If not, relieve me from her and he will do it. Just, I don't want to sin against you no more. Please help me. And he will help you. He will help you. And the angel said unto me, Wherefore didst thou marvel that I would tell you the mystery of a woman and the beast that carried her? She had seven horns and ten, seven heads and ten horns. The beast that thou sawest was, and it's not. It shall ascend out of the bottomless pit <clears throat> and to go into the perdition that dwell in the earth, and it shall wonder whose name were not written in the book of life. And with the foundation of the world was behold the beast that is not yet is. And here is the mind in which had wisdom, the seven heads, the seven mountains in which the woman sitteth. And there were seven kings, five fallen, one is, and the other one's not yet come. And he cometh that he must continue a short space, the beast. And it is not that he is the eighth and the seventh that goeth in perdition. The ten whores which thou sawest was the ten kings, that you have received no kingdom as a yet, but we received the kings of one hour into the beast. This have one mind, and it shall be their power and strength unto the beast, and they shall make war with the lamb, and the lamb shall overcome them. He is the Lord of the Lord, the King of the kings, that there are with him that call are chosen and faithful. He said unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth are the people of multitude and nations and tongues. The ten horns in which saveth upon the beast, they shall hate the whore, and they shall make her a desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For God hath put in his heart and fulfilled his will to agree to give her, to give their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of God that should be fulfilled. The woman which thou sawest in the great city reign over the kings of the earth. You know, they wanted to stay in sin. They wanted to continue with the heart and knowing that it was a pathway to hell. He said, if that's what you want, then go. That is what you want. I will let you go. It wasn't because God gave up on you. It's because you gave up on him. You desire the things of the flesh, the things of the world. He said, what can I do? What do you want me to do? There's nothing I could do. You know? Either way, she perishes. And that's what it says. Like the kings end up like mourning her. So, sorry. Revelation 18. 
After this things I saw another angel come down from heaven with a great power, the earth lightened with glory. He cried, Mighty one with a strong voice, saying, Babylon is great fallen, is fallen, and has become an inhabitation of devils, the hold and every foul spirit in the cage and every unclean, hateful bird. All the nations have drank the wine of the wrath of her for an action. The kings of the earth were committed to for an action with her. The merchants of the earth, they were waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out, saying, Come out of her. My people, you have not been partakers of her sin, but you have received not her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God have remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her according to her works. For the cup that she had was filled, filled and filled with her double. As much as she had glorified herself, she lived viciously. So much torment and sorrow he gave her. For she said to her heart, I sit as a queen, and I am no widow, and you will see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come one day, death and mourning, phantom, and she will utterly be burned with fire, with strong as the Lord God that judgeth her. And the kings of the earth who have committed for actions, lived in to sleep with her, shall bewail her and lament for her, and they shall see the smoke of her burning, standing afar off is the fear of her torment saying, Alice, Alice, the great city of Babylon, the mighty city, for one hour is the judgment to come. The merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her, and no one buyeth her merchandise any more. The merchandise of gold, silver, precious stones, and the pearls and fine linen, purple, silk, and scarlet, fine wood, and all manner, and vessels, and ivory, and all the manners of vessels, precious wood, and brass of the iron, and they marvel. It says, Cinnamon, orders, anointments, frankincense, wine, oil, fine flowers, weed, beasts, sheep, horses, chariots, slaves, and souls of men. Souls of men. You know, believe that. The fruits that thy soul shall lust it after they parted from thee, and the things that were in dignity, godly, departed from thee. Thou shalt find no more at all. The merchandise of the things that were made rich in her. They may make, shall stand afar of uh, fear of her torment, weeping and wailing, saying, Alice, Alice, the great city was clothed with fine linen, purple scarlet decked with gold, precious stones and pearls. For one hour so great riches, and is come not, but every sheep master, and company and ship sailors, and many as they trade by sea and stood afar of. Uh, they cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, The city is like unto the great city. And as they cast dust in their heads, they cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alice, Alice, the great city, wherein were made rich and had ships by the sea, the reason of her coastlines, one hour that she may the desolate, rejoice over the heaven, that you have a holy apostle and prophets, for God had avenged you on her. And mighty angel, they took up the stones with a great milestone and cast it in the sea, those with violence and great city of Babylon thrown down that it shall be found no more at all. The voice of the harpers, musicians, pipers, trumpeters shall be heard no more, but all thee, the craftsman and whatsoever craft he said, he be, that he hath found no more in thee. The sound of milestones, they should be heard no more at all in thee, but the light of the candle shall shine no more at all in thee, that the voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride shall be heard no more in thee, for the merchants of their great man is the earth, and for the sorceries and all the nations deceived. And in her found the blood of the prophets, the saints, and all that were slain upon the earth. That's the wrath of God because of the evilness they did. Do you understand? <laughs> wow. You know, that's maybe just something for you to read over, you know, and Searching just... For a new Sorry about the that. Is over at Ballard, Kia. You know, something for you to reach because we are at the end times. But right now, it's going to be a revival. You know, a revival that's already going on, and you guys are doing the work. By you guys getting on there, by you guys preaching, you guys are saving souls. Everybody, it's magnet to different people. You know, rather they they might be like, ah, oh, let me hear her. I just open up a lot of them, and I like them because I want you to know that I support you and God is with you. And that he anoints you with words and knowledge and wisdom is what I pray for him. 
what I pray for you, you know, for my father to do for you, you know, and that you can 